another week and four more shorts to show everybody. So let's jump right into them. You make me a sandwich. So this is yet again another Film Riot Monday challenge. Just think this time around it was a gunfight. I believe I can't fully remember, but I had a lot of fun filming this one with my younger brother and my friends. And I love the concept of this. I love the joke at the end, but I just don't love the execution of this. I think it had a lot to do with the time constraint of turning this around in one week. And we only had one day to film. A lot of it was just guys standing around shooting at a wall. Not a, nobody's trying to gain the upper hand on anybody until the very end with Nikki taking out everybody. I think that shot kind of saves the entire video. But I think had I had more time to plan out an actual action scene, I think I would have been able to come up with something a little bit more fun and entertaining rather than just guys standing around shooting at people. So this is probably one of my favorite Monday challenges that I took part in. This was the silent film challenge. I love telling stories without any words being spoken because I'm kind of not the best at writing dialogue. And I wrote, shot, and edited this in one night. And the editing, I think, makes this short. And it's just, it was so important to find the right pacing and knowing when to cut and what to cut to. It just, if I would have held on a shot too long or cut too soon, it really would have killed the pacing and, and the short itself would have suffered. And I think I was able to keep a really good balance in the pacing to keep the audience interested and keep them guessing what's gonna happen next. The only thing that I would change about the short is I wish that the gun was visible the entire time. Ryan Conley actually mentioned this in the show. This short got featured on the show, didn't win it, but this is one of the things that he did mention that the having the gun be visible the entire time, just hiding in plain sight, would have made the joke a bit more effective. So that's the only thing I would have changed about this short. This just in, the spacecraft from the iconic film trilogy, Star Wars, may not be a thing of science fiction. It flew out of the sky like zoom. It's like straight out of the movies, man. Hello? What are you doing? What? Nothing. Then what's all that noise? I'm driving at the top down? You don't drive a convertible, Andrew. I don't care how or where you got that thing. But Wait, how did you know I... It's all over the news. No. Oh. I want you to bring it back right now. I can't. Can't or won't? Either? Andrew! Right! Right after I go blow up the dust. Hello? Andrew? Dun, 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 dun. 
So I had a lot of fun shooting this one, mainly because I get to fly an X-Wing in this. But I think the best thing about this short is its dialogue. I normally suck at writing dialogue, but this one seemed to flow really well and the banter between me and my wife, who was my, my fiance at the time of shooting this, it worked really well, but mainly because I stole a couple of lines from the show Archer. If you're a fan of that show, I, I bet you can pick them out. But for all of the X-Wing shots in this short, I used Element 3D. But if I was gonna do something like this again, and if I had the budget, I would definitely build an x-wing cockpit like a physical one that i can sit in just to have something physical to tie all the effects together and i think that's a problem of mine that i have i always have these grand ideas that are way too ambitious for my budget and i'm constantly trying to remind myself that bigger doesn't always mean better and sometimes the simple things work just as good as the big budget things So this was another submission for a Film Riot Monday Challenge. This time around was giving an inanimate object emotion. And I really wanted to go simple with this because I, when I heard it was uh, giving an inanimate object emotion, I immediately went to the cool shop effect and just relying so heavily on the editing for this one. Basically the cool shop effect is giving a character emotion based off of the sequence of shots that you choose. And so in this case, it's conveying hunger in Superman by cutting back and forth between him and the bowl of chips. And this video is a perfect example of some Sometimes these simple ideas are the most effective because I won this challenge. I was very surprised because some of the other works that I went up against were really good. And I can't take full credit for this because the final shot of Superman with the crumbs on his chest wasn't my idea, it was my wife's idea because originally I was gonna have Superman completely disappear. And I'm glad I went with that because it ended up being so much better than what I had originally planned. The only thing I would change about this video is that the shots were just very static and nothing really to them. So I ended up digitally zooming on almost all of them. But if I was to do it again, I would actually use a physical dolly and just give the shots a bit more like feel and more make them more dynamic. So that's the only thing I would change. Aside from that, this video is probably one of the rare occasions again where it ends up being pretty much perfect. So that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and share. And consider following me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future and hit the bell icon to be notified when a new video goes up. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.